John and I, have, we've always really loved rockabilly, and when our bands, uh, Speedball Baby and Blues Explosion, toured together, we kind of figured out that in, in addition to, you know, sort of doing deconstructed roots music uh, referenced art music, we, uh, we also, uh, you know, we also really liked the real thing a lot, and, you know, it wasn't just all irony, and um, so backstage we started jamming together, and uh, talked about at some point if we ever had time, maybe you know making a record. It started out really informally, just playing music and you know playing cover songs and just having fun and drinking beer. And, and uh, we started writing our own songs. And then since we have a studio, it, it was a very short jump to making an album. And uh, after the album was made, we said, "Well, we should do some shows," and that turned into touring. It was very you know kind of organic and not not. Uh, thought out exactly. Well I don't think it was I don't think the plan in the first place was recording some stuff. I think it was just that Matt and I we love rockabilly. We love lots of kinds of music. A lot of it old music, but it was mainly rockabilly. And we could see that in each other. You know, I could hear it in Matt the way Matt played the guitar and I guess maybe Matt could hear it in the way I sung sometimes. I think the, the, the band has, has definitely grown heavy trash. You know, when we first started, it was just me and Matt kicking around. And with the second album, we've, uh, we've brought in all these different live musicians on the album. And, you know, we've, it's, not, it's not strictly rockabilly. It never really has been. That's sort of the, you know, the, the well that we keep going back to. Yeah. <laughs> The kind of thing that John and I are, are most into is sort of the weirder angle, you know, things like um, Charlie Feathers and uh, maybe has Ladkins and some of the drunker uh, Carl Perkins things. And Robert Blake in Cold Blood. <laughs> Yeah, the sort of stuff that, that appears to be like self-referential, some, some kind of a little off kilter. We love the old music, but uh, we're not, we're not uh, tied down. You know, we, uh, we're, 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 we're pushing a little bit. And uh, it's sort of like uh, we're, we're playing a, 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 an idealized version of something that never existed. Another uh, touchstone is, is sort of ne something we never talked about, but sort of sort of bubbling up is uh, um, James Brown and, and his approach to performance and uh, the way that the songs are you know great songs, but they're just kind of like they're they're the building blocks for what really happens, which is the show. This kind of in involves a lot of improvisation, and there's like you know this uh, tight band that's listening intently to James at every second. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, um, that's kind of, I saw that uh, when I was a, a Blues Explosion fan, uh, watching John do that with his band, just really, everything was like extremely focused. And uh, um, so you, you get all the looseness and the, and the rambling aspects of rockabilly, and you get this like kind of, you know, really intense blue flame of, of James Brown style performance. <laughs> to scream tonight. I gotta let it all hang out. I don't wanna hold nothing back. It's like Kim, it's like I was telling you this morning. What did I say? I said I wanted to get fucked up. Remember we were talking about it? Off with the head. Rockabilly is, is probably the number one thing for heavy trash. But we're not tied down, you know. Uh, we, we, we're. It's, 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 it's in our blood. It's, it's in our DNA. It's in our bones. Uh, you know, Matt and I come up through uh, punk rock and uh, hardcore, and uh, and we come up through, uh, you know, art and and arts background. There's a lot of stuff that's uh, that also uh, feeds us and influences us you know, maybe sort of surrealists in a sense, yeah. you know. Yeah, I think, yeah, Marcel Duchamp and uh, Newt Hampson and Charles Bukowski 
as much as uh, Charlie Feathers and Elvis Presley and Gene Vincent. You know, they all it all mixes them together. You got to remember, rock and roll is a strange, crazy thing, and a lot of what people call rock and roll is 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 not strange or, or, or crazy. Take my hand. Take my hand. 